multiplying exponents. Let's try to understand what happens. And this is also a kind of a law for exponents which we are going to use widely. So what we are trying to do here is we'll take uh, two exponential expressions like we can take 2 to the power of 3 times let me use different ink here and times let's say 2 to the power of 4 when we do this then what do we get now 2 to the power of 3 means we got 2 times 2 times 2 I should have written this in this color so let me okay okay doesn't matter so I'm making this 2 to the power of 4 for this okay and 2 to the power of 3 is the term in green so we'll write 2 times 2 times 2 so 2 to the power of 3 we got these 3 2's and 2 to the power of 4 we got these 4's so how many 2's in all so in all we have 4 plus 3 7 2's so we say 2 to the power of 7 so this is equal to this and this is equal to this effectively what we get here is the same base which is 2 and the exponent is addition of 3 and 4. Is it always true? So let's test it out. So we will do a testing by taking a general number and let's say we do this time a to the power of 3 times a to the power of 5 and see what happens. Now a to the power of 5 means a times a times a times a times a so we got five a's here and a to the power of three means three a's so a times a times a in all how many a's do we have we have one two three four five six seven eight so so this is equal to this and this is equals to a to the power of eight do you see so how do we get eight we get 8 by writing 3 plus 5. So in general, multiplying powers with same base, base is same. Do you see a and a in this case, 2 and 2 in that case. Then what happens to the powers? Powers get added. Do you see that? So in general, what we can do is, we can write down our law here. And our law is very simple. It is, if we have a to the power of m, and if you multiply this with a to the power of n, then what do we get? We get a to the power of m plus n. Okay, that's what we get. Correct? So, and it's easy to see how, right? It's not very difficult to see that. Now, we can take some more examples and see whether it works or not. Even if we have numbers like this, it's kind of complicated, but don't worry about it. Let's say the number is half, right? If we have half to the power of 3 times half to the power of 2, what do we get? We should get half to the power of 3 plus 2, which is half to the power of 5. Do you understand? So basically the powers get added and the base remains same. That is, that is what it is. If we have, let us say, minus 1 to the power of 6 times minus 1 to the power of 5, then what should we expect? We should expect minus 1 to the power of 11, correct? And uh, if we want to calculate, do you know what it is? If the power is odd, then minus will be negative, right? So effectively, we get minus 1 in this case, correct? Yes. Now, if we go the other way, for example, if I write 2 times, 2 times, 2 times, 2 times, 2, how can I represent it as a multiple of uh, two bases? We can club it like this, right? We can write this 2 square times 2 cube, which is 2 to the power of 5. This is kind of going reverse direction, correct? 2 to the power of 5. So what is happening in all these cases is that when we multiply any exponential uh, expression 
with same base then their powers get added so in short multiplying powers with same base results into sum of their exponents with the same base correct so we'll use this property to understand the meaning of zero exponents and negative exponents soon to come okay thank you